In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the footage once you got it back from your remote editor. So what's going to happen is that because we're sending over proxies when we upload the footage, it's going to show that the file is missing and we just have to reattach the proxies because their file structure might be different than your file structure. It's very easy to just go on and look up where your proxies were saved before. Make sure that it just gets reconnected. Once it's reconnected, as you see here, let's just take a look at the clips. I'm going to right click properties and you can tell that the image size that this is going to be smaller than what we actually or what we originally filmed it under so what we do here is we can come or we'll start with the drone come here select all right click and over to proxies reconnect full resolution attach and we'll go over to the file drone let's go back here properties and now as you can tell we have the full size media again can do here just to make sure that we're viewing it properly is right click and we'll do set to frame size these all should be correct the same thing here properties and you can tell that these are going to be the proxy versions so let's go back to that folder and this is why it's important to make sure that everything is organized into the different folders just when you have to go back and do things like this if you have everything just in one place or if you're dealing with you know multiple different uh cameras it can just get a little bit more confusing so organization is definitely key so i'm going to click on the first one control all i'm going to go to proxies reconnect for resolution media so as you can tell with this version here, it doesn't give you that little feature that tells you match the exact name size. So what I would say is to make sure that if you're clicking on the first one, which for us was 9405, make sure that you click on 9405 as the first one. So now you can tell, let's go back. Proxies, or oh, properties. Perfect, so you can tell now we have 4K resolution. Uh, and something else that I could tell here is that this is a little bit punched in because I filmed the footage i was familiar with what it looked like so what i'm gonna do here is control all while i'm inside of the timeline here we're gonna go to set to frame size and there you go now we're having making sure that all the clips in our timeline are expanded so we could actually fully see anything making sure that nothing is cropped from here when i make these changes the next thing that i want to do is just hit control s i uh, just want to save a copy if you don't have uh, automatic saving i'd recommend that you you do it every you know i have it set for every five minutes so that it does it automatically you can do it for 10 but i definitely recommend having this feature turned on now we can see that we have all of videos all color coded with the names walking in so we know what is about if we're looking one other thing that i'm really big on is making sure that the timeline looks clean so here as you can tell we have a lot of empty tracks right so one thing we're gonna do i go here delete tracks delete all empty tracks perfect 